Beggars can't be choosers, but beggars never quit. Height here, and you already know what this is. It's time for choosing beggars. Let's do it. Our first one is from Admirable Vanilla 168. I understand, but this needs to work for me also. I'm making big cutbacks to make this. Smoking $2 cigarros instead of Marlboro. Not kidding. If you're looking for cutbacks, you should quit smoking altogether. Considering this beggar was most likely looking for a discount and trying to justify that discount based on their smoking discount cigarettes, yeah, that's pretty damn good advice. This next one is by Lacoste01. New car, 2019 Ford Focus Active X, 19,000 pound target. Dreams, hopes, and wishes. I'm in need of a new car and with a new baby, it's impossible to budget. This will benefit our new family for many years. Funds will help towards purchasing this particular make and model. Nothing too crazy, but practical and functional. Ideally need the funds ASAP before I lose a stock vehicle. The support would mean the world to me and my family. Will help us get around, especially after lockdown. I don't believe I will have any luck here, but trying. The fact that they even acknowledge they're probably not going to have any luck there says a lot, but the fact that they're still asking just proves how big of a choosing beggar they clearly are. This next one is from Stitched Anime. I lost my job a few months ago and would really appreciate just a bit of help to get a PC, gaming chair, pay for VTuber avatar. This will really help me out as I can't do much of physical work due to a spine injury and would love to stream to make people laugh and connect with. About small starting VTuber streamer, the donations help me create more content and bigger production for my audience and helps pay daily expenses. Along with getting my VTuber avatar, expressions, plus additional bonuses that come with it, besides coffee and tea are my fuel. I'm sorry to hear that you lost your job a few months ago and with your spinal surgery you can't really do much, but considering a PC, a gaming chair, those are two things that are going to be expensive. I'm not too sure about how much the avatar would cost, but I can't believe it would be that much. You're going to have to try to save somehow. This next one is by Nuke Marine. Can I have the Anki decks you use for the N4 Tango 1500? I need the Anki decks for those please. No problem. Please send a photo of your book with your username plus date on a piece of paper. I don't have the book. Oh, if you have the Kindle version, just send the purchase confirmation along with the screenshot of page 52 and 102 of the book. I have nothing. Not the book or the electronic. I can't pay for that, but I need to learn vocabs. If you search of Core 2000 or similar on Anki, you'll find all the decks you can handle. Bruh. Please, I can't afford the book. Homie. Yes? Homie, do you not understand the first time I said it? Dumbass hag. No, not getting what you're saying. Were you interested in learning Japanese or just improving the quality of your insults? And just for a little background information, Inky decks are sort of like electronic flashcards, popular with people learning Japanese. Tango N4 is referring to a Japanese vocabulary book used to make this particular Anki deck. Idea is to save the user time and effort making it themselves so they can get into reviewing. While these decks I share with anyone that owns the books, sort of a gentleman's agreement respecting the publisher's copyright, there are more vocabulary decks on the Anki website that are just as useful and free under Creative Commons. Not sure if this choosing beggar would even bother learning Japanese anyway, given how little effort they put into getting his own material. I agree 100%. This choosing beggar could get these decks and they still wouldn't even put in the effort to learn Japanese. Why? Because they're not even putting the effort in to get the material for themselves. Just like the OP said. This next one is from Slade364. Hi everyone! I'm looking for a natural sperm donor meeting these requirements. Age 16 to 23, never used any prescription or illicit drugs, never drank except for communium, blonde or light hair, not overweight, and comes from a 75% plus American background. 
agrees to forfeit all parental rights at time of birth. No payment will be collected during any natural breeding sessions. However, regular child support payments in the amount of 20% of your income will be expected within the first month of birth. You will remain completely anonymous throughout the child's 18 years of life and you would be expected to maintain that same level of anonymity with anyone around you. Please reach out to me through Messenger for more information. Thank you. I really hope no one bites and impregnates this idiot because quite frankly their kid will be probably dumber than they are. This next one is by The Highway Chode. I have six years of housekeeping experience. I'm in need of a job and I have lots of experience with it as well as I am a mother of four. You sent $40. This is for you. And then ruined my hope for humanity. Hi there. I've already hired someone, but I will keep you in mind. This is a gift from me for you this holiday season. Cherish those kiddos and even though times look tough, you will find a way through. Happy Thanksgiving. Is there any way you could give me 45? I appreciate what you have done already. If you appreciate what they've done already, then you would take it and be grateful. You clearly aren't appreciative because using that after asking for more shows that you're not. This next one is from Sky High Bye. On Friday, November 1st at about 11 a.m., I stopped by this place here, Starbucks, and had the worst customer service that I've experienced in my life. I bought a breakfast sandwich at another Starbucks. I didn't have a chance to eat it for about an hour. I stopped at this Starbucks and asked them if they could reheat it for me. The girls at the counter, I don't have her name, said no, they can't do that. I asked why and she said it is a health violation. I asked her to make me another sandwich and she said no, we can't do that and that I could buy another sandwich if I want. Any decent person would have either reheated that sandwich or would have offered to make me a new one. These are the type of people that will destroy a business. No, they were 100% accurate in stating that it's a health violation. Unfortunately, you're the kind of person that destroys businesses because you think that they can lose money left and right to give you free things. And our final one is by Steady She Comes. Hey, I see you redo furniture. I have this really big china cabinet and I was hoping to have it turned into a coffee bar. I got your number off your business card. I don't use Facebook, so I hope it's okay that I'm texting you right now. Hi, yes, I don't mind at all that you're texting me. Can I ask who I'm speaking to? My name is Kathy. I live in Beggarsville, but Blank gave me your business card. I love what you did with her piece, and I really want you to do mine as well. She showed me your other work, and wow, the blue vanity is a dream. Are you selling that one as well? And here's the picture of my china cabinet, since pick. Good morning. Unfortunately, that blue vanity is my personal vanity, so it isn't for sale. Thank you for the compliment on it, though. As for your china cabinet, I can definitely fix that up for you. It does need to be stripped and sanded before I can prime it, so it will be a bit more expensive than the work I've done for blank. What do you have in mind color-wise? But you're a business. Why would you post a piece that you weren't selling on your business page? That doesn't make any sense. For the china cabinet, I was thinking in white to black ombre. Well, I posted it there to showcase my work. It could also be used as a reference photo for someone who wanted the color combination painted on a piece. I'm so sorry for the confusion. White to black ombre is definitely doable. Do you by any chance have the dimensions of the piece? It's 76 inches wide by 72 tall. I just don't understand you posted the vanity on your business page, so you should sell it to me. I'll give you $250 for it. Well, if I did sell it, the price would be $750, but as I stated earlier, I'm sorry, but this one is mine and I'm keeping it. As for your china cabinet, given the size, the fact that it needs stripping, and how much paint it will take, my estimate is about $400. And I take a 30% deposit before picking up pieces to cover supplies needed. Let me know if you want to proceed. I will send over an e-contract for you to sign. 
I'm sorry, 750? That is absolutely ridiculous. I can go to Ikea and get a vanity for 200 and 400 dollars just to paint something is also insane and unfair. How do you even come up with that number? Sounds like you pulled it out of your ass. And why would I pay you before you even did anything? That is stupid. Good afternoon. Most artists take deposits on commission pieces to cover the cost of the supplies they would need. It would also cover the cost of my gas to drive the hour to you. I use all Dixie Bell products and I would need to use three colors for such a drastic blend, meaning white, a gray tone in between the white and black, as well as the black. I would need to do a 50-50 mix of the black and white so I would need an 8 ounce jar of both colors, as well as a 32 ounce jars of the white and black. That alone is $94 in just paint. Boss Primer is another $33. 30% is $120 and between the stripper I will need, which will be a lot of product, and is expensive because I use Blue Bear, I will still be paying some money out of pocket to cover the amount of supplies at first. Total supplies will cost me around $150, and that's only if I am correct on my suspected amount I will need. It could cost me more, so that leaves us at $250. Pickup and delivery using my truck will cost a good amount in gas since we do live 40 miles apart from one another. That is 160 miles added to my vehicle for the total round trip for pickup and delivery. With total pickup delivery cost being $80, that leaves me at $170. I'm guessing it will take me a total of 35 hours start to finish. That is $4.85 an hour. I believe my prices are very reasonable. As for my vanity, I paid $125 for the vanity as it was originally broken and severely water damaged. I bought a new mirror for it for $75 and to replace the mirror in the middle cost me $82. The crystal knobs cost me $68.90. Not to mention all the things I needed to use for repairs and painting, $250 wouldn't even make me break even. If you can get a vanity from Ikea, do that, because I guarantee you won't harass them about their pricing or argue with them about something that isn't for sale even though it's in the store. I appreciate you contacting me looking to do work for you, but I have decided it will not be worth it to work with you. My piece is worth so much more. Thank you and have a nice day. This beggar clearly has no clue how businesses run, especially things like this, and what they're using, trying to say that the vanity should be sold because it was displayed. No, that's this person's version of their portfolio, showcasing their work. Alright, that's enough beggars for the day. Well, that wraps up this episode of Choosing Beggars. If you liked the video, please drop a like, share my content on all of your social media, subscribe if you haven't already, and make sure to hit that bell so you're notified every time I upload, and drop a comment down below. Thanks for watching, thanks to my patrons, have a great day and stay safe out there.